I'm gonna show you how to get both Nornir chests in the plains in Vanaheim. So the plains is up here in the crater, this whole section right here. To get to the crater, you have to do the Center of Survival side mission, which you can find in the description of this video. There's a ton of links. It's in there somewhere, I think, uh, if you need help with that. Uh, anyway, once you go here, I'm going to do both chests from the starting place. So if that's too slow for you, feel free to just skip through to the final locations of each one. So go to the north and immediately over here to the right, you can try to get past this revenant who will definitely try to stop you. But anyway, once you get past that revenant, you can drop down here and then drop down again. Now these enemies, you can actually just totally ignore them. Like it'll let you climb even though you're in combat. Then you gotta head over here. There's actually a forge here just randomly, which is kind of weird, but here it is. Uh, and then once you get around here, there is, there are a bunch of enemies up here and you won't be able to kill them without the Leviathan Axe and Sigil Arrows. So what you'll need to do is use Sigil Arrows on these. You throw the axe and retrieve it, but it's very inconsistent. It doesn't last long and it's weird. It's a weird try or you try to push them out of the area uh, And then there's a way gate. So the reason we go up here for this first chest is because of this So in order to deal with this the easiest way is just use three sigil arrows on the same spot then use the uh, Blades of chaos and aim to do a heavy attack that will knock that down now, there's probably more than one way to do this, but what I prefer to do is kick the shield off here, which I've already done, and come off like this, and then swap to the axe, and hit that, and then that, and then sprint over here as fast as you can to do this one. I think this one's one of the ones where you have to do it in succession. Uh, it might be easier to start with that one, actually, because it's a little bit harder to aim for that one. So if you have trouble with the aim, you might want to start with that one, just because it's, again, a little bit harder. So inside of this Nornir chest, I was told actually recently that what you get from the Nornir chest is based off what you got in the last one. So you may not get an apple. You may get something totally different. But either way, there's the Nornir chest. All right, so let me reset back to that starting area and I'll show you how to get to the other one. Okay, so I returned to that original Mystic Gateway on a different save that doesn't have the crater flooded yet. I'm doing this so you can see both ways to get where we need to go. So if you're, well, from here, you're going to jump down. You're going to go over here to the left. If you flooded the river, you'll get on a boat and then just... Uh, sail across to where I'm going. But if you have it, then you'll have to go down like this instead. So we're gonna go down here. And, you used to live here? and then up here. It wasn't a fake and the then over game. here. Something happened to it. And then up here. It'd have to be and then right here, we need to get through that gateway that I'm looking at right now. And in order to do that, it has to be nighttime. Now you actually could kill two birds with one stone by making it nighttime at the, the um, Celestial Waygate or whatever that we were at just a minute ago. That place that we went to uh, uh, where there was a Waygate over here, uh, there was a thing that you can play that'll make it nighttime. But I'll show you where the other one is near here in case this is the only chest you need. And you, I don't know, whatever. I'll show you the way to do it from this side. So you instead go this way and then drop down here. And then jump across this. But you'll still need to do this anyway if you want to 100% the zone. So it's a win-win to watch this. All right, so then you're going to go up here. And then you're going to head over here to the left. And there's the thing to change from day to night. There's also a way gate up here. There's a forge up here. It's got everything. So you're going to play this. You're going to change it from day to night. And if you're here at all, you should have this tool. I don't think you can even get here without coming to Vanaheim the second time. Okay, so now you're gonna go over to this, kick this shortcut down, and then once you get down here, you're gonna have to fight that troll thing over there in order to get through the gate. He's you can't go through the gate till he's dead because you'll be in combat and can't open it. Okay, so once that ogre thing troll is dead, you're gonna head through here. And then you're gonna come over to here and wrap around to the right. Now, right here's a fork in the road and you're gonna head left. And right here is a boss fight. Now I've already done it on the save file. I swapped back to my main save file, but you're gonna go right here and you're gonna throw your ax into that. Now what you can do is you can backtrack all the way around and you'll be able to get into that secret area over there. So to backtrack, we're gonna go around here and then over to here. 
and then turn right. So when we came through here last time, we went left at a certain fork in the road, and now we're gonna go right instead because now we can. Yeah, that didn't work out. All right, so jump over this and then jump down here. And now that that is gone, I mean, I've already opened on the save file, but there's a door. You can literally just open this then. And then there's a fight with a ton of enemies here. And once you get in, you pull your axe back, use sigil arrows on this and that, and then, you know, freeze one, freeze the other, and try to kill them before they unfreeze and things like that. It, it's, it's a kind of a pain, or you try to knock them out of the area. But anyway, back here, you throw your axe onto this, and then you can get access to all the different, um, the different uh, little things that you need in order to do the Nornir chest. So this is one where all you do is destroy them. I don't have them here anymore, but I can show you where they were. So there's one here, you just blow it up whichever way, whatever weapon you want to use. Uh, I guess you have to use the spear, actually. There's one in here, and then the last one was over here on this rock, one of these rocks right through here. And you just blow them all up and open up the Nornir chest, and voila, you've done both Nornir chests in the plains then. So hopefully this guide helped you out. I tried to walk through all the little details, so you know, if you didn't need all the details, hopefully you just skipped through the video. But that's how to get both Nornir chests in the plains in God of War Ragnarok.